Good evening, happy Hanukkah, happy early Thanksgiving. Welcome to the big board. Starting tonight with John and Shauna in this barn burner. Shauna wagers everything. She'll have 28,800. So John, to stay above her, we need to wager 12,800. So that's going to be his minimum wager. Now, if John gets it wrong with that wager, he's going to be left with 3,200. So Shauna will need to stay above that. That means a wager of no more than 11,200, so that'll be your maximum wager. Now we look at second and third, Mike and Shauna. Mike doubles up, he's got 24,000. So Shauna, to beat him, will need to wager 9,600, that's her minimum wager. She's wrong with that amount. She's going to be left with 4,800. So to stay above that, Mike can wager no more than 7,200. So that's going to be his maximum wager. Finally, we look at first and third, Mike and John. Remember, John's going to wager 12,800 which will leave him with 3,200 if he gets it wrong. Mike will already be above that if he wagers no more than 7,200. So, now we move on to rule number three. What happens if each wager is zero? Well, they're all so tight. The only one who can really benefit from this is Mike. So Mike could wager 2,400 to cover Shauna. He could also wager 4,000 safely to cover John. And one tricky thing that doesn't really matter, but doesn't hurt to restrict your wagers in any case, is if John makes an unsafe wager here and stays above Shauna, maximum of 1,600, he adds that score of 17,600, which means that Mike, to cover that, would want to wager 5,600. I don't really care about that too much, but... As I said, it doesn't hurt. So these are the final wagers. And as we saw, Shauna wagered zero. Now, if she really wants to stay above Mike, she should also wager to go above John. So if John wagers zero, he'll have 16,000. That difference is 1,600. So if Shauna really wants to make this alternative wager, she should really wager at least 1600 and no more than the difference between her and Mike, which is 2400. That's it.